Director Fede Alvarez has crafted a near perfect love letter to the Alien franchise with Alien Romulus, capturing the essence of what made the original film so iconic. From the claustrophobic corridors reminiscent of the Nostromo to the pulse-pounding tension that harks back to James Cameron's Aliens, Alvarez knows exactly when to pay homage and when to innovate. The way he uses shadow and light to create suspense is masterful. This is still very much an Alvarez film. His signature blend of visceral horror and relentless tension is all over Alien Romulus. Fans of his work on Evil Dead will recognize the gritty, almost brutal intensity he brings to the screen. Alvarez also uses practical effects to ground the horror in reality, a technique he's honed throughout his career, making the xenomorphs feel more real and more grounded and more in your face than they have done for not just years, but decades. Alvarez's direction breathes new life into the franchise while still honoring the legacy of the films that came before it. He's managed to create something that feels both fresh and familiar, and it's that delicate balance that makes Alien Romulus a standout. One of the most impressive aspects about Alien Romulus is how Alvarez has found, again we're talking about balance here, this perfect balance between practical effects and knowing when to use CGI. In an era where CGI often dominates, Alvarez wisely chooses to rely primarily on the practical, grounding the terror in a tangible reality. The xenomorphs feel as horrifyingly real as they did in the original film, thanks to meticulously crafted animatronics and prosthetics. On the rare occasions where CGI is employed, it's done with such restraint and care that it never breaks the immersion. Instead, it enhances the experience, blending seamlessly with the practical effects to create a cohesive and utterly convincing world. But it's not just the visuals that draw you into the nightmare, it's the sound design as well. Alvarez and his team went to great lengths to capture the auditory essence of the original Alien film. In one instance, I've even read that Alvarez went as far as to track down some of the original sound bites and some of the original sound captures from the original 1979 movie archive. The hiss of the xenomorph, the creak of the ship's hull, the unsettling silence before the attack, they all contribute to a soundscape that amplifies the tension tenfold. Sound plays a crucial role in this film, turning every creak, every distant rumble into a harbinger of dread. It's a masterful use of audio to manipulate the audience's emotions, keeping us on edge from start to finish. In Alien Romulus, both the practical effects and the sound design work in perfect harmony, creating an atmosphere so immersive that you'll feel like you're right there, trapped with the crew waiting for the next inevitable strike. And this brings us to the heart of the film, the crew and the actors playing the crew. Much like he did with Evil Dead, Freddy Alvarez has assembled a cast of what kind of appear to be young adults, but what he's done so brilliantly here is that he's never ever let the movie divulge into what it could have been, which is just another teen slasher movie. Instead, the film taps into the raw, unfiltered energy of its cast, using their youth to amplify the sense of vulnerability and desperation as they're thrust into an increasingly dire situation. Leading the charge are Kaylee Spenny and David Johnson, who deliver standout performances that anchor the film. Spenny especially brings a steely resolve to her role, how do I dare say it? Reminiscent of Sigourney Reaver's iconic Ellen Ripley. While David Johnson captures the fear and determination of someone way in over their head, the entire ensemble works together seamlessly, creating a dynamic that feels both authentic and relatable. There's a palpable chemistry among the crew, making their plight all the more gripping. And it's within this tight-knit group that the beauty of Alien Romulus lies. The simplicity of the story. The plot is stripped down to its essentials. A crew wanting to leave a mining colony where they've got no future. A crew that ends up stranded on an isolated, 
hostile environment hunted by a relentless predator. Alvarez doesn't overcomplicate things. Instead, he allows the tension to build naturally, focusing on survival instincts and the primal fear of the unknown. The narrative unfolds with a clarity and purpose that harken back to the original Alien, keeping the audience on edge as each moment ticks by. This is a masterclass in keep it simple stupid. Don't need all the bells and whistles for this plot, be it a simple plot, to hit hard. In Alien Romulus, the simplicity of the story is its strength, allowing the actors to shine and the horror to hit home with full force. It's a refreshing return to the franchise's roots, where the unknown is the real terror and survival is the only goal. But listen, I've sung praise for this movie and I, I maintain rightfully so. It is not perfect. As with every movie, there is very rarely such a thing as the perfect film. And Alien Romulus is no exception to that rule. It does have some shortcomings. The biggest drawback? The formulaic predictability that comes with being part of a franchise that spanned over four decades. At this point, the Alien series has become so ingrained in pop culture that there's very little novelty left in the core concept. And unfortunately, this isn't something even a skilled director like Fede Alvarez could fully overcome. We know the beats of an Alien movie. The crew's discovery of the threat, the deadly game of cat and mouse, and the desperate fight for survival. In that sense, Alien Romulus really doesn't tread new ground. But where the film does succeed is in how it covers that familiar ground. Alvarez approaches it with a deep respect for the franchise, ensuring that even if the broad strokes of the story are predictable, the execution feels fresh. The novelty comes not from reinventing the wheel, but from placing the xenomorphs and facehuggers in scenarios and situations we haven't quite seen before and yet still seem familiar. Whether it's the unnerving claustrophobia of the new setting or the innovative ways the creatures are introduced or even the innovative ways which they move which we haven't seen before. There are moments in Alien Romulus that remind us why this franchise has endured for so long. So while Alien Romulus may not revolutionize the formula, it respects the legacy it's built on and finds small but meaningful ways to keep us engaged. Sometimes it's not about breaking new ground, but also about revisiting it with the care and craftsmanship that fans deserve. And on this point, actually, there are some new things here, but you know, this is very fresh, this movie. I am not giving away spoilers, but there are things, especially at the end, which are right out of Evil Dead. I will say no more, but it's like, it's Fede Alvarez 101 in the best possible way. So my final score for this film, this beauty of a love letter, this wonderful summer blockbuster that the franchise needed so desperately. Listen, you've heard how positive I've been in this review. This isn't gonna come as any surprise. Alien Romulus gets a nine out of 10 for me. In the end, it's a worthy addition to a franchise that has seen its fair share of lows with a few original highs. While it doesn't break new ground in terms of story, it manages to deliver exactly what fans have been craving. A return to the tension, horror, and intensity that made the original films so iconic. Freddy Alvarez has crafted a film that feels both respectful to its predecessors and innovative in the ways that matter most, bringing a fresh energy to familiar territory. The practical effects, sound design, and strong performances all work in tandem to create an experience that, while predictable, is undeniably gripping. So now, before we sum up, where does it rank? Where does Alien Romulus rank? For all of the reasons that I have just said, let's bring up the chart again from my ranking video. No green screen this time, I apologize. This is how it previously stood. I am now going to put Alien Romulus in very worthy A ranking category. The only reason it doesn't make S ranking is as I said, the predictability and the formulaic predictability of the mise-en-scene of the story. It doesn't tread any new ground. God damn it, it treads that ground in a beautiful way. 
So while Alien Romulus may not be groundbreaking entry in the Alien Saga, it's a film that understands what makes this franchise tick. And it delivers on that promise with style and confidence. If you're a fan of the series, this one is definitely worth your time. It's a reminder that sometimes staying true to your roots can be just as powerful as forging a new path. Thanks for joining me in this review. And I cannot stress this enough if that's not clear. Please go and see this movie. This movie needs to be successful so the studios know that this is the standard of movie that we as moviegoers want. I would love to know once you guys have all seen Alien Romulus what you think, if you're as hype on it as I am, if you agree that it has its fair share of predictability problems, but aside from that, it's pretty damn flawless, leave all of that goodness down below. Please do check out my ranking of the Alien franchise if you haven't done so already, which you can see up here. And please do subscribe to the channel, which you can do down here. But that's all from me on this time, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. My name's Nicolero, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.